Hi guys, and welcome to Computer Science Degree Saver. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to uh, configure a global DHCP server and also how to fix this problem here. Uh, DHCP failed and allocating APs with uh, other systems. Uh, so, first I'm going to explain uh, the network that we are going to build and also why uh, you encounter this problem. So, let's see. This is the network uh, that we're going to uh, build today. So we have uh, two routers, uh, two switches, and uh, on the one switch we will connect two new user devices, and on the other one is going to be our global um, site DHCP server. So why we have this problem here, DHCP failed? Let's say two new devices connect to our network. It doesn't really matter if they're connected uh, wireless or uh, they're connected directly on the ports on our switch. Uh, uh, everything uh, is the same. So they become the IP address 0000. From this IP address, they can only send traffic to the uh, broadcast address of the subnet uh, where they're placed. So uh, they send DHCP requests searching for a DHCP server to get an IP address uh, for this network, but this IP address and the broadcast address are not routed. So they send the request, the request comes, and the router drops uh, the request because uh, oh, uh, it sees, okay, this is a, a DHCP request. Uh, it is uh, coming from uh, some new devices, with IP 0000, and uh, they are sending the request uh, to the broadcast. Uh, that means that every device on the subnet uh, becomes uh, this message. We should teach the router that uh, there is a global DHCP server, and he shouldn't drop the request, but rather take his uh, own IP address and route the request from here through the switch to the DHCP server. And that is called DHCP relay. So, in order uh, to make uh, this uh, DHCP request uh, happen and not uh, get this DHCP failed error, we have to configure the DHCP relay on the router where uh, on the interface. So here on this interface. I'll cross it with another color. We should configure DHCP relay on this interface uh, that points to the subnet that needs uh, DHCP um, uh, allocation. And what DHCP relay uh, is, is just with a command on the Cisco router, we, we teach this router here where is our DHCP server and what is the, uh, the IP address of this server. So let's uh, uh, make this in the Cisco packet tracer. So let's build the network. First, we will put just two simple routers. Then we need two switches. Uh, I'm sorry for the positioning, I'm not trying to align uh, anything, just uh, wanted to do it as, as fast as possible so don't we don't lose any time and we will also need a server. Then we also need to connect everything. First let's connect the two routers. They are connected or 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay. That's perfect. Or no, let me just make it some other way. I want the port 0, 0, 0 here uh, to this interface. Let's connect this first, first internet, and then this one, and then from gigabit ethernet to 000, zero, zero. and now let's take this, and th now it should be, yep, perfect. And the last one, fast ethernet to fast ethernet, perfect. 
let's first configure the interfaces on the routers. So here we have the first subnet with the, let's power it on. Then the second subnet uh, between the routers. Sorry for my mouse pointer. Um, that's ready. Here we have first the second subnet. Let's take the second IP of the second subnet for this interface. Oops. And then we have on Gigabit Ethernet 001 the third subnet. And we'll power this also on. Now let's configure the switch. So uh, between the switch and the router, we need a trunking port and not an access one. So let's, we switch this one here. And then let's configure our DHCP server. The default gateway is the first IP of the third network. We don't need IPv6, so let's configure also static uh, the IP of the DHCP server. Let's take the second IP of the third network with the subnet mask just as so. And then we want to configure DHCP pool for the uh, first subnet. So we want to allocate uh, uh, with a dynamic key, uh, dynamically with DHCP uh, only the host in um, this subnet here. Uh, under this interface. So we'll need the server pool. Let's take the name just like so. The default gateway of this subnet is this interface here. So we take the IP DNS server. We are uh, we work without one. And then which IP addresses uh, we want to allocate to this um, users. Let's take from the second one of the first uh, network and we want to just have, uh, I don't know, let's take three. Well, we, at the moment we need two and just in case we want to add just another host, let's take three of them. Uh, let's save this and um, start our DHCP server. Then what we also want to do is uh, configure the routing table of the routers. Uh, we should teach this router how to get to this uh, uh, subnet here. So we will do that statically. We want to go to network to the third one. So 3.0, the subnet mask is 24. And then the next hop is uh, uh, this here, the uh, second IP of the second network. And we want to add that to this uh, routing table. And we, uh, we will do that for the second router also here. I just saw router 2 and router 3. I have no idea why they are called like this. But uh, we want to go to the first network from here. The mask is 24. And the next hop is the first IP address here of the second network. So, oops, and we want to add that. Let's inspect uh, one of the routing tables uh, here. And as you can see, we added statically uh, a route to this network, 3.0, uh, and uh, everything goes through uh, this interface here. Okay. Everything seems to be configured fine. Let's now check uh, if we can ping uh, this server here from one of our hosts. Let's first configure this IP statically just for the test. We need to take the second IP and our default gateway is the first IP. Okay, so let's try to ping our DHCP server, uh, that is the second IP of the third network. 
maybe the first one fails. Let's see. Request timeout. That's okay. Okay, and the last two are okay. So as you can see, everything works just fine. Don't stress uh, if you see uh, the first time request timeout. That's just because uh, everything is um, uh, yeah, uh, packet trace on the routers just need some time uh, uh, for the configuration uh, to start working. But as you can see, everything works fine. Okay, let's now check if we can uh, allocate everything uh, dynamically with uh, the DHCP protocol. Let's see. And as you can see, everything fails, but uh, we have configured the routers and also our server uh, should be working fine. And here comes uh, what I explained earlier. We should configure the DHCP relay on this interface here. One second. Uh, on this here, Gigabit Ethernet 0000. You can see it. Yep. And we should uh, teach this interface where is the DHCP server uh, because at the moment it searches only in this subnet, but we have a global site DHCP server that is, uh, that is uh, in a totally different uh, network. So we have to teach this interface where our DHCP server is. So we're on exit of this interface and go to the interface. Oops, gigabit Ethernet 0000. Just like so. And now we uh, I will post uh, uh, the commands that I use uh, uh, in the description of the video, but it is uh, a simple command. You just type IP. helper address and now the IP address of the uh, DHCP server so the second IP of the third network and just like so we have configured uh, DHCP relay on our interface and now DHCP should be working just fine let's check go to static and now one more time to dynamic and as you can see the allocation was successful let's now check if we uh, the configuration will work also on uh, the second uh, host in this subnet on static and on dynamic and as you can see here everything works um, just fine as well and we uh, we have the IP, the third IP of this uh, first network Let's just for the test ping uh, our DHCP server. And as you can see, that works fine as well. So uh, in this video, I showed you how you can configure a DHCP relay on a router so that you can route a DHCP request and uh, not have uh, a DHCP server in every subnetwork but rather one global one uh, that can be placed uh, just in one network and you can teach the routers with DHCP relay how to route um, this request to the DHCP server. If you want uh, more tutorials or have any questions, you can leave it in the comments. And yeah, like and subscribe. Bye.